How to create and simulate an Arduino-controlled blinking LED circuit with Tina Cloud. Arduino is an open source platform for building electronics projects. It consists of an open source hardware called Arduino Board and an integrated development environment, IDE software, to write the MCU control code in a simplified version of C++ then compile and upload the code to the board. Tina and Tina Cloud provide an extensive support for Arduino. You can simulate, debug, and bring your design to life in a mixed circuit environment before uploading it to the board. In this tutorial video, we will create and simulate the Arduino-controlled blinking LED circuit on the screen with Tina Cloud. First, create the circuit using the schematic editor of Tina Cloud. Click the Insert button, denoted by a green plus sign, to invoke the Insert menu, then select Insert Global Macro. Select Arduino Uno from the Global Macros dialog window, then press OK. The Arduino Uno board will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Next, select and place the voltage source and the ground from the basic toolbar and connect them to the Arduino Uno board as shown in the video. Next, create the output part of the circuit. Select and place the LED from the optoelectronic toolbar, then select and place the resistor and the ground. Finally, select and place the voltage pin and connect the components with wire to the Arduino board. Now load and compile the Arduino code. Double-click the Arduino board, then click the, the three dots in the MCU code line of the Properties dialog window. Click the Add button in the MCU IDE window. Then select the previously downloaded C code in the Blink.ino file and press Open. Okay, let's quickly follow the operation of the C code. Initialize the digital pin LED underscore built-in as an output. Call the loop function to create an infinite loop for the instructions between the opening and closing braces. Turn the LED on with a logic high voltage. Create a 500 millisecond delay. Turn the LED off with a logic low voltage. Create a 500 millisecond delay. Return to the opening brace of the loop function. Now compile the code by clicking the Compile button. Next, click the Save All button to save the compiled code. Close the MCU IDE window. Press OK to close the Properties dialog. To see the generated waveform, run Transient Analysis from the Analysis menu. Change the end display value into 2 seconds, then press the Run button. After the simulation ends, the diagram window appears. It shows a symmetric square wave with a period of 1 second. OK, now let's change the waveform to an asymmetric square wave with the half periods of 1000 milliseconds high and 500 milliseconds low. Close the diagram. And in the MCU IDE window, change the Turn the LED on delay value to 1000. Next, compile and save the changes. Close the MCU IDE window and the Properties window. Run again Analysis Transient. The required waveform appears. OK, now let's check the operation using the live interactive mode of the program. Note that in the program, one millisecond simulation time is transformed into one second animation time. You can check this in Analysis Options dialog from the Analysis menu. Now, since our simulation time takes several seconds, change the simulation time unit to one second and press the OK button. Press the TR button. 
the LED starts blinking with the required timing. Release the TR button to stop the blinking. Note that this circuit named Arduino Blink.TSC is included in the Examples folder of Tina Cloud at the path shown on the screen. Finally, let's see how this circuit works in real life. This concludes our Arduino Blinking Circuit simulation video. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel to youtube.com user slash tinadesignsuite.